Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. In this channel, we are going to learn about Linux, Windows, VMware and cloud computing platforms. Please do support by subscribing. Now, let's get into today's topic. Hi friends, now we are going to deploy the vCenter. Mm, to straight away go into the video, firstly I have downloaded the ISO file which will be helpful for us to deploy the vCenter. Here you can find the ISO details over here which I have downloaded vcenter plan this is the iso when i right click this iso and extract this is the folder we will be extracted from that you can find the vcsa folder here this contains the ovf template as a brief now let us go into the vma workstation click open choose that ovf file what we have downloaded click open this will give us a like you know uh, like user agreement like that end user agreement accept it and click next and give the name for the v, uh, vcenter i am naming it as a vcsa and you can choose any path where your vcenter should be installed right now i can check my c drive space uh, i have 80 gb space right so i can install in the same location which is showing over here okay and click next here i will be having a multiple options like one is the large medium small in the bottom you can find what is the compute resources required to install this right now as a test environment lab environment i am choosing the tiny vcenter the options and everything will be the same to you can explore all the options in the lab by using the tiny as well so i am choosing tiny click next and in the network configuration you need to give the configuration details over here firstly we need to give the host network ip address family it will be having ipv4 or ipv6 so i am giving ipv4 over here and uh, network mode is nothing but the subnet mask uh, okay mode is nothing but the static or dynamic so i am choosing static over here and we need to give the ip for this vcenter this is the free IP in my network and network prefix is nothing but the subnet mask I have entered directly prefix value over here and the gateway is 192.168.29.1 okay my DNS server details are 192.168.29.200 is my DNS server and post network identity is nothing but the FQDN name vcsa dot tesla group dot co dot in this is the fully qualified domain name we can say once you are done with all this stuff firstly you have to verify whether our domain controller is live or not for that let me power on my domain controller so my domain controller is up over here but it is still loading i can see the console in the other window so allow me a minute yeah i can see my domain controller is up and running right now to check whether domain controller have the record for the uh, fully qualified domain name we have created over there for that you need to type nslookup and give this name nothing friends uh, we, are, we have just created the host record in our in my domain controller when i enter like this see the name resolving with an ip address okay so this fine once you are okay with this stuff, just click import. This takes some time for the deployment of the virtual machine. Once this has been completed now, you will be having the VM get created over here. You can see once it get loaded uh, completely, we need to make the st stage one configuration as well as stage two configuration. It will take a while. Allow me. Meanwhile, uh, let it get deployed, friends. See friends, after the completion, the console will look like this. Now what we need to do is press F2. And we need to set the root password firstly. So now I am going to set the root password. Okay, let me re-enter again. Okay. Once the root password has been set, you can check the network configuration details if required. Like by default, uh, we have already configured this stuff right in the previous step. Now I am going to log in with that root password which we set earlier. 
okay you can see four options over here now we are going to configure the new vCenter so that is the reason I am choosing the first option here it will state that first step has been completed successfully to proceed further you need to go with the second step click next here you can validate the details what all you have given earlier the SSH access as well as time synchronization we can set later on friends it's not a big deal so all the details what all we given you can validate once again and click next over here it will ask for the SS4 configuration here we need to enter the vSphere.local and the default username would be administrator this is the vCenter we are going to configure firstly in our environment if you have the existing vCenter we can join to it but right now we are going we are uh, configuring newly right so we need to choose the first option only okay once you given these details click next uh, you can uncheck this one because we wanted to join the customer experience improvement program once you are okay with this all this stuff click finish okay click okay now the second step installation will complete it will take a while friends after the complete configuration uh, we will see the pop-up screen stating that it has been configured successfully so we need to wait Friends, uh, we have successfully deployed the vCenter. To access this vCenter, we can click on this link and click Advanced, accept this. See, launch the vSphere client like that. It will coming, right? You can click on it. Now the vCenter has been deployed. We need to log in with the, uh, like, you know, we have created the SSO user as well as the domain, right? Administrator. vSphere.local okay now you give the password whatever you have given earlier yeah it's all done friends now you can see the vCenter has been deployed successfully now we are able to successfully log in see there is no license has been assigned to this as well as no host has been added to this vCenter this is just a vCenter without any configuration at the moment so coming further what we will do we will configure the uh, like you know we'll assign the license as well as we will add the host over here uh, okay remaining stuff we'll see in the coming classes friends this is all about the video today thank you have a nice day